So if you remember earlier this week, we showed you this beautiful location, Astoria here in Gordon Square on Detroit, and I told you that one of my favorite things was their grape leaves. And we were surprised by this gentleman, Chef Yanni, who came into the shot, and I was so excited because you are the master behind these grape leaves, and we have Chef Corey joining us once again. You're gonna give me a little tutorial on how this really works, yeah. right? Okay, first of all, you buy the leaves fresh, fresh grape leaves. Fresh grape leaves, all gotta be fresh. Yes. You boil a little bit. How long do you boil those for? Uh, five, five, ten minutes. Okay. How many do you put into, if you're boiling them in a pot, how many do you, can you put in there at once? Uh, almost, uh, almost a dozen, a each, dozen. One, each okay. one. Okay. I've always after, wanted a lesson uh, on how after, to do this. After you boil it, you start, um, I make it the stuff for the rice, fresh, everything. You put the uh, onions, you put the parsley, you put the uh, your dill, and the mint. The mint? Yes. So onions, parsley, mint. Mint. And dill. Uh, and dill, uh, which you uh, can't. Yes. That's, uh, is that, does everyone uh, make them with dill? Because I feel like that's what's also been missing in my yes. life. Not mm -hmm. everyone, but yeah, so there's you, varieties, you, uh, different you, you varieties make spices, all you know, salt, sure. pepper, everything. Okay. okay. Now, after this, you start to uh, rise a little bit cold, you start, you make a roll. You put it, we each one, one spoon rice. One, is that about a tablespoon? Yes. Okay. This is so cool. How long have you been making these grape leaves? How many how, years? How many years? Oh, <laughs> not <laughs> too many. Too many to count. Over, over here, yeah, well, four, four years over here. Four years here? Yeah. Okay. But you've been doing it a lot longer than four yeah. years, huh? There we go. Okay. So okay. you roll it up like a burrito. Yes. That's it. That, well, now how do yours, there's just something about, they're very soft compared to others that I've tried. They're not as veiny as I've tried before. So are there, are there secrets that you that you guys do here that make it better? <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> yes. The secret um, is well, best, best, best thing is using fresh grape leaves. Yes. Okay. Um, and then parboiling them before you, you do the rolling process. If you make it boil it, you make it soft. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, do you prefer them cold or hot, both of you? Who, who You like it cold, and you? I, I like them hot. You like them hot? Yeah. Well, I, either one, that's another <laughs> one. <laughs> you know. I thought I loved them hot until I tried your cold. Mm -hmm. And yours cold are, there was an additional, how many, you normally get one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. there were seven. There's now six because I ate one before because they're so darn good. <laughs> so, do you, if, if someone wants to heat them, if they were to try this at home, how long yes. they heat, can they, is it best to, how do they heat them up then once you're done? Yeah. It would be easy, just cover them, I'd say just cover them a little olive oil. Okay. Pop them in a yes. 350 degree oven. You're looking maybe six, seven minutes. And you also make your homemade tzatziki sauce? Yes. That's, I, I'm telling <laughs> you, if you guys have never tried the grape leaves here at Astoria, you are missing out. That and so many other things. I mean, you have a full menu again, and you have the wonderful charcuterie boards, and you really have it all here, and the wine. It's a great date night spot, or to bring Absolutely. the family. Absolutely, it's a, uh, uh, you know, we, we offer a little bit of everything, you know. We really focus on our charcuterie and cheese, um, just making that a, a staple of, uh, of Astoria, but we also have wonderful small plates, pizzas, salads, uh, tons of mezes to, to enjoy also. I'm telling you it's one of my favorite uh, places uh, I'm making moussaka. You make moussaka too? Yes. Oh. Fresh. Uh, Natalie, I'm making cooking 101 part two, we're making moussaka. Uh, I'm making pasticho. Uh, what is that one? I missed that one. Pasticho is mean, it's a macaroni okay. and a ground beef. Oh, that would be right a, up my alley. And, and a cheese. I'm just gonna have you a permanent fixture of New Day Cleveland. You're just gonna come make something once a week, okay? You make a feta cheese, <laughs> mix it both in macaroni. I am sold. I'm telling you, you guys, when you come visit, you'll see me here because I'm probably going to be here all the time now. Thank you. Okay. One second, I'm being myself. I'm on business at Pasticcio now. Look, he's going to get me food. I'll let you know what it is. No one leaves hungry. That's that's his his motto.